Hey everybody, how's it going? Nero Stratos here, and I'm bringing you some Minecraft Create Mod. That's right, we're doing a Minecraft modded series. I have not really played Minecraft with mods, except for setting up this mod pack. Speaking of which, if you go to the link in the description of this video, you should be able to find the link to the Curse Forge. So if you want to play this mod pack and follow along, or use it for your own fun, yeah, you're more than welcome to. Anyway, let's get started. So first off, obviously, we're going to be punching some trees. But uh, first thing I want to note is that this is a large biomes world. I have seen a couple other YouTubers do large biomes. Uh, and I really like the idea of using the trains to traverse the larger biomes. Uh, I think it'll be I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, it's going to be kind of rough finding a nice starting point where we can set up a starter base but who doesn't like a little exploring now and then right all right now that we got some stone tools going i think it's time to go and explore and look for a village maybe or maybe some sheep to steal a bed i think I think this kind of looks neat. I don't want to live on top of a snowy mountain. I think I'm going to head north. I think I'm going to head north and uh, check out what we got there. Or I guess, yeah, I can head north. Um, I'm really looking just for a mountain or open. I want like an open biome to build in. Like I don't mind the taiga. But I'm not feeling the taiga build style. I would prefer, actually, funny enough, uh, a savanna. I think savanna would be nice for the style I am thinking of, but it is not necessary. All right, we got ourselves one spruce sapling, so that way I can actually uh, get some spruce wood in case we don't end up living near a spruce biome. But uh, I'm going to go on a a little bit of an explorer and I will probably bring you guys back when I find something interesting okay it looks like we found ourselves a village and you'll notice that our first mod is the uh, better villages mod or it's supposed to be <laughs> doesn't really look like much changed I'm taking this bed Oh, yeah, there's one of our mods, too. We got a guard villager. So now maybe the villagers won't want to die every five seconds. I think that'd be really cool. Feathers and flint. I'll take it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Dude, don't, don't get too close. Don't take my iron, either. Bud, I'm looking at you. All right, all right. Uh, oh, they're standing on cauldrons, leather boots, mine. I'm also taking this chest. Screw you, that's why. Now, I wasn't checking fern on the wooden slab for today. Floating fl fern on the trap door for today. All right. Hey, this is a kind of a letdown village. And that's a big hole. You know, like I was saying, um... I have not really played any any modded Minecraft whatsoever. I uh, originally got the idea by watching a YouTuber, a couple YouTubers, uh, play with the chipped mod and the framed blocks mod. And as someone who likes to build, uh, I found those two mods like very captivating. I was like, yo, I can get super unique looking blocks and with new textures and I can make like custom like half blocks and all kinds of stuff and custom slabs and it just it it intrigued me so I decided to make my own little mod pack and I did test it out in a uh, creative mode just before starting this just to make sure that everything worked and obviously I want to like double check that the mod pack works obviously but I want to see make sure everything was in the mod pack that was necessary to be there to have a cool little fun experience and then I figured why not share it with you guys and uh, time to shriek because it is bedtime let's go and we are off we are off to continue looking for a place to build our starter house 
this is what I was looking for. Well, I mean, like I said, I was looking for a Savannah, but look at this. This is nice. Set up a little starter house right here. Maybe get a little bit of that into the view. Let's just check out. There's no no point to rush. I got plenty of plenty of time. I want to. I don't need to pick the perfect spot. I just want to pick a nice spot where we can set up camp and really just get some stuff going. This this right here is gonna be my bedroom window. All right. So let's set up camp. And now we're all organized. We're gonna make ourselves an iron pickaxe and we're gonna go into one of these caves and do a little mining sesh. So our goal right now is we need some deep slate. We need some deep slate. I'm gonna actually make another to cook the deep slate, another furnace to cook the deep slate because we need a regular deep slate. And then I need a masonry bench right here, masonry table. All right, I need a brick and some clay so i need a brick and some clay and i need that stuff so it was x crafted boom and now we got the uh, carpenter's table for chip so i can put logs in here and i can get some real nice looking logs so we can use this to make our house and then now i need to go get some clay all right, so we got ourselves some clay. It's cooking up in here. That'll allow us to make the mason table. Oh, I don't need all of it cooked. Let's cook half of it. So there's that. And if I'm not mistaken, two pieces of wood, two pieces of iron, another crafting table. So let's do this crafting table. Two pieces of lumber, two pieces. And there we go. Now we got the mason's table going. So we can use this to work with our deep slate and make ourselves a nice little platform. I think we can also use it on this now, but this can be used with, we could put it in here and get some very nice looking blocks for our roof. So we got our roof situated. All we need is more deep slate. Okay, so I am gonna go mine us some more deep slate and I will be right back. Okay, so we're back. We got ourselves uh, two and a bit extra stacks of deep slate and the other bit has cooked up just a little bit, but we gotta figure out how to use uh, this encased fan. So if you look at this, if you go over here, you can air blast it with some lava to make deep slate. But hand cranking is not working. Well, not really working well. So what we're gonna do, well first we're gonna take a little sleep so no mob spawn. But we are gonna make a water wheel. So I got myself some buckets of water. So we're going to make ourselves a little infinite water source right now. And now we're going to get the heck out of here, bro. Shoo. So we are going to search for a water wheel. And there's a regular and a large. I think we're going to go for a large. It's just a normal one with extra planks. So I need my shafts. I need some wood. Turn. All oh, that into planks. Do this water wheel do this large water wheel so if i 
place this. Let's place this back here, maybe. Get some shafts. I think ooh, shaft like that. Place a water wheel. Okay, that's huge. Okay, now if we put a bucket of water here. There we go. It's spinning. Is this blowing? It's kind of blowing. So if I put some cobble... Ooh, let me do that. Let me put that there. Will that cook? So how do I make this faster? Let's make some small cogs. Let's make some large cogs. Oh. Okay. This, then this. Then this. Okay, and then we put the fan. Okay. This guy set me on fire, I just know it. Oh no, no. I can't tell if that's, okay. Something got cooked. Okay, so it did cook on there, okay, cool. So now we have our deep slate. So if we go over here, we can use it to make any type of base that we would like. So what we're gonna do is we'll get half of that. We're gonna get half of that. I think what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm actually gonna want to place it right here. Just a nice, small-ish little house. So we're gonna have to fill this in with dirt. We might have to move all of our contraptions and stuff, but it'll work. Perfectly cooked copper, excellent. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna have a nice little Start a building montage. Is she all ready for it? Let's get it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Let's take a closer look at what we've done. So obviously I used some of those framed blocks and some of the custom blocks from Chipped to get this really nice uh, overgrown log texture with the azaleas. I thought it fit in really well with the, uh, the bluish green of this uh, viridium block that comes with the create mod. At first, I wasn't sure like how I wanted to do the roof. I didn't know if I wanted to use um, like a tuft down the side or if I just wanted the whole thing to be viridium, but it, it turns out this green that ties in with the blue and then the wood texture underneath the green ties in with the spruce really really nicely and it all really pops out with this deep slate bottom and then because you know it got a little bit to the same on the back i added a cobblestone chimney with some campfires in it to make it seem like you know it was actually uh, chimneying. <laughs> so if we walk up our little front step onto the balcony, we got these really cool looking fence gates from the macaws fences. And if we step inside, you see our little workshop. So we got everything we need already in here. We got our glass blower, mason's table, our carpenter's bench and then we got all our our goodies in these three chests this one's a junk chest for now and we got our spruce wood because i mined a lot of spruce wood for this uh in this drawer so that is this and then we're also starting a basement 
Uh, for now, I think we're going to put the majority of our create mod, like starter contraptions down here. You know, you know, just like the, we'll move the, the, uh, lava blower fan here. We'll, uh, put our mill down. We'll, we'll get ourselves a, uh, one of the spinny ones. I don't know, uh, what they're called, but we'll get one of those. We'll put our press down. We'll put everything down on the bottom. Just to have a little something to utilize. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you liked what you see, make sure to <laughs> like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment. Uh, I am looking for I'm looking for a new microphone because this microphone is really more, more so made for instruments. So it doesn't pick up my voice the best and it leaves a lot of background noise. And so if you have any recommendations, please, please leave a comment. I will, I will read them. I promise. And well... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.